What's going on everybody? Thank you so much for coming back to another video and in today's video we'll be talking about Tim Burton's 1989 Batman. So right out of the gate I'll go ahead and say that this movie was one of the first Batman movies that I ever saw ever as a kid. Uh, I saw it tons and tons of times growing up. It really just solidified the, the visual world of Gotham for me. Uh, the music, the tone, what Batman was all about, uh, his gadgets, all that kind of stuff. It wasn't until I was a little bit older that I started diving into some of the older stuff with Adam West. Um, but yeah, this was one of the first live action Batman related things that I ever really dived into. And as a kid, I loved it. I remember watching it tons and tons of times. Uh, there was, there's such a there's such a nostalgic value to this film for me and uh, yeah you know I, I always remember thoroughly enjoying it now I hadn't watched it in about a decade and I recently just got the blu-ray I hadn't owned a copy of it since VHS and I wanted to own a more up-to-date 1080p version to try to give it a rewatch my girlfriend had never seen it before so I thought why not just sit down and let's give it a watch and uh, yeah after rewatching it what I can say is I definitely don't like it as much as I remember but it's still a good time I still really enjoy watching the visuals and the images imagery and the music and everything about how they brought Gotham to life in this movie was done right for me the the look of it you know you see artwork from this film the the bat suit the, the very comic book as colorfulness of like the Joker everything about the look of this film and the sound of this film is just classic Hollywood and classic comic book live action adaptation at its best personally and now with that said I can't really say I love the movie as an overall anymore personally there's so much right about the movie I'm a huge Tim Burton fan and I'm a fan of all the actors in this movie or at least the main cast and what I could just say about this movie upon rewatch is that it's a lot slower than I remember there are big chunks of the movie where I found myself genuinely bored um, you know Jack Nicholson as the Joker steals the show every time he's on screen he chews up the scenery and I can't help but just love every single scene that he's in I mean he really did set the standard for what a live-action Joker should be and uh, that's why I always loved how different Heath Ledger made his in the Dark Knight but I'll talk about the Dark Knight another time but um, yeah I just love what uh, Jack Nicholson did in this film as a Joker um, you know and I, I do really like Michael Keaton in the suit as Batman in this movie even though a lot of the action is a little little definitely dated it's pretty funny to look at and laugh at some moments where he throws down a smoke bomb and kind of like zips away it's just super cheesy but at the same time I think the movie is very self-aware it knows that it's a comic book movie in the sense that it you know is not trying to be some over-the-top serious grounded film you know the, from the sound effects to the music to the to just the gadgets everything about it very much leans into that classic Batman comic book feel and that's something that I think I've always loved about this movie and will continue to love about this movie the imagery the sound everything I've mentioned it before already now but that's really what makes this movie for me now as far as the narrative goes it's very streamlined very easy to follow there's definitely some strong moments but I think I found myself bored a lot more watching this movie than I ever remembered um, there are scenes that really stand out and there's iconic moments and imagery that really stands out but you know I really could not get into Michael Keaton as Bruce Wayne in this movie uh, you know upon rewatch as a kid you know you always just remember that person in the suit and since it wasn't a comic book movie that I revisited too too much as I like grew up and was getting becoming a teenager and becoming an adult you know when I was watching it I just can't, couldn't help but feel like Michael Keaton's Bruce Wayne is just boring. He's not really relatable. He's not very charismatic. And I only really cared about him when he was in the suit. So that's kind of my biggest gripe on this movie is just I could not really feel a super engaged and connected to Bruce Wayne in this film, in this iteration. Now I do like Michael Keaton a little bit more in the sequel to this film, but I'll talk about that in that review. But as far as this movie goes, I think that Jack Nicholson steals the show as a Joker 110%, easily the best part of the movie. There are certain characters that you know and that you know will become different characters in future iterations um but you know they don't really play on that in this it's kind of just like a name drop it's like oh i know who that is because if you're familiar with the comics then you definitely will know who they are but outside of that it's just one of those things where it's just kind of like name drops and some forgettable characters and one of my biggest gripes that i have with this movie from a narrative perspective is the fact that there are certain characters that just they, their relationships just bl blossom way too quickly, in my opinion. Uh, there are characters that just meet or just spend short periods of time together, and they expect a level of trust and connection between the two of them 
that really just feels rushed and that's my biggest issue with this movie is that certain parts of the narrative just feel rushed and almost like a episode of a cartoon version of Batman which would work in an animated setting but you know even then a lot of times certain things like the animated series were able to flesh things out a little bit better but I think for a movie you definitely have to be able to flesh things out just a little bit better and so that's something that definitely kind of is a weaker element for me I still thoroughly enjoy this movie you know I'm, I'm glad to have it in my collection I'll probably watch it many more times as years go on but I can definitely definitely say upon rewatch that I was not the hugest fan of Batman again um, you know I, I love the imagery I love the look of the film I would definitely recommend it to Batman fans and to fans of comic book movies or fans of film who want to go back and you know touch on definitely a tentpole film that really set the tone for many comic book films of the future especially Batman um, yeah I, I you know there's no way I could deny what this film did for films and comic book films as a whole so yeah you know I thoroughly enjoy this movie but there's so much about it that I don't like there's a nostalgic value there for me so I would say on an overall basis I would just say the movie is just okay looking back but it has very very strong elements maybe a little bit more than okay uh, you know I really don't know where I sit on this movie this is you know a lot of times with my reviews I tend to kind of teeter to one side but I do want to give a measure take with all my reviews so I, I kind of sit a little bit higher than middle of the road with this one looking back on it there's a lot about it that holds up there's a lot about it that's just you know it's so good but there's just a lot about it that just does not work for me especially the narrative and I think the biggest issue for me anytime I watch a movie is like you know you can have flaws with the effects you can have flaws with the action you can have flaws with this and that but if I can't really get grounded or sucked into the characters then you've kind of lost me to an extent you know I, I I just I have to be able to be connected to the characters and so that the narrative can actually flow and, and be exciting for me and the events that happen so this movie is just kind of a nice watch as a fan of Batman and as a fan of comic book films but uh yeah I don't know if I would recommend it to somebody who doesn't like comic book films and you know is only looking for the really good ones you, you may be bored at a few moments but you know a lot of people may disagree with me so I'm very curious how did you watch Batman for the first time uh, did you watch it as a kid? Did you watch it when you were getting older? Did you love it? Did you hate it? When was the last time you watched it? Join the conversation down below, guys. As usual, I would love to communicate with you guys and go back and forth. That's my favorite part about this channel is just having, uh, you know, respectful, fun conversations with all of you guys about movies. Uh, you know, that's the best part about movie watching. Some things work for some people and some things don't work for others. So, you know, uh, I, I, I still think this is a good movie. It's just kind of a little bit above middle of the road for me. I would, I still recommend it, though, for sure. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate appreciate it. If you enjoyed this content, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. And if you know somebody else who'd be into this, hit that share button, send it to them via text, whatever works. Let's get this channel out to more people, guys. Let's talk movies. Hit that like button. Comment down below, guys. I want to talk to you guys. What were your thoughts on Batman? What do you think about this review? And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye! <laughs>